Hey, brothers. Give me a minute, please. Give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Three minutes. Three minutes. I won't be before you long. When God gives me something, I just can't. I can't be quiet. I have to share it. Check this out. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. And it shall come to pass, if thou shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay, if you continue to read that in Deuteronomy 28, he will give you the results. He will give you all the blessings that he's going to do for you. But the point I want to make emphasis on right now and just take a quick minute, is this is God talking. This is God talking. This is God telling us what he's going to do. This is not saying, you know, someone else telling you what he's going to do, but this is the voice of God, okay? Here it is in scripture. This is the voice of God telling you that if you hearken to my voice, okay, and he's saying that if you don't put any other God before me, okay, and he's talking about how he's going to overtake you, but check this out. I want to give you another. We all, we're talking about the voice of God right now, the voice of God. We're talking about it coming right out of God's mouth. Let's go over to Matthew 6.33. Matthew 6.33. Matthew 6.33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay, if you read Matthew 6.33, you're going to see that's Jesus talking. That's Jesus telling us, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you these things jesus is saying things what are things a house is a thing a car is a thing um money is things um things anything you can physically touch or feel you know you know all these things that you desire. This is Jesus giving his, us his word. He's telling us all these things. But we're talking about the voice. We're talking about coming right out of the mouth of God. Okay. That's the emphasis. That's the message I want to share with you today. I'm talking about God is telling us directly. No one else is telling us. God is telling us. If you read the scripture, God tells us what he's going to do. But I'm going to hit it. I'm going to, I'm going to finish up on this last one. Okay. And I think you're going to be blessed by it. Uh, Mark 11, 25. Mark 11, 25. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mark eleven twenty three, Mark eleven twenty three, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto the mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he said therefore i say unto you what things soever you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them that's again that's jesus jesus talking jesus is god he's telling us it's coming out of my mouth. You not have. You don't have to hear this from nobody else. I'm just reading it. I'm just being the messenger. But this is coming from the Lord direct. God is telling us that 
He's giving us these powerful, powerful, powerful blessings. And he's telling us what he's going to do straight from his mouth. Straight from the mouth of God. Straight from the mouth. And, you know, when you get into this word, he starts revealing in these things to you. So I have to do my job. And, you know, what I believe is in my heart. And I try to just say, hey, to my friends and, you know, families or whoever I send this out to or whoever reads this, my job is to just speak it and do what God commands me to do. Because he wants me to let you know this is coming from him. This is not secondhand. This is God. But you see, you have to understand that God, you can understand God when you start walking and talking with God. When you start having a relationship with him, God will start revealing things to you and he'll start showing you and then he'll start, you know, giving you assignments. He'll start opening up your mind and opening up doors for you and opening up, you know, pathways for you for your voice to be heard. But our number one priority is to spread the gospel so that people can be saved, so people can have eternal life. I just want to say, I hope you got something. God bless you. I love you. In Jesus' name.